Welcome back to our business partner tutorial series. In this tutorial we'll be looking at setting up and managing users. From the dashboard, which is uh, where we started in the last tutorial, we have a button called users. You open up your user section and it's a pop-up and then when you choose a user you'll get another pop-up. But from here you can either close this pop-up or add a new user, or edit a new user, or delete a user by clicking on the red X to the right of the user's name. So let's go in and just look at this user, Brad Hutchings. Once you're in the user, you would add a name, first and last, an email address, a phone number. We don't give you a bunch of phone numbers for the user because the user is, is going to be on some of the reports and we need to have a primary phone number. So this just be the number most likely to call this partic particular person and you can ID that as what type of phone this is, whether it's a cell or an office phone or whichever phone type that you would like to use. Then the title and if you have a, uh, a JPEG or a TIFF or a PNG file of a signature, you can put that in. We're not using that right now, but we will be able to use that in the uh, reporting later in the next version. And then you would add an account name, and this is going to be the login name for logging in and out of Business Partner and the password for that particular user. And privilege set. And the privilege sets right now, all we have are administration and sales. Where this came from was we had a user that was very interested in owning the business partner and loved the the idea of the business partner and how it worked and how it calculated but what he was uncomfortable with is in the original version prior to this latest version of business partner there was no way to hide the secret sauce um, his salesmen saw everything they saw what his labor rates were they saw what his markups were they saw everything and he was just very uncomfortable with that as if one of those salesmen left him he, they had all of that ammunition if they went to a competitor so we developed this portion uh, in this latest version where you can change the privilege set from administrator which is basically everything to sales and if you choose sales uh, a lot of the things in these menus go away things where you would set pricing but also within the jobs themselves and I'll speak to that as we go through the different tutorials of what may or may not be missing depending on which of those privilege sets you have. Um, but a, a sales privilege set would not allow them to see the labor rates, would not allow them to change the pricing or markups uh, for individual clients and, and, and thus the an administrative person would have to, an administration privilege set person would have to set new items that needed to be added, they would need to um, change any pricing that needs to be changed before they create estimates. They can create estimates and proposals and they can add the projects to business partner. They just can't see things and edit things that are price related or related to the company's secret sauce. And then you also have the option of enabling and disabling those people and that's a needed feature since this is a hosted version so you can log in from any computer that the app is installed on so if you've allowed a salesman to use his own personal laptop uh, then he can log in any time but if uh, there comes a time that he's not working for the company anymore or she's not working for the company anymore you can disable that user and then the last part of this any changes you make here if you're editing it you would hit the save button nothing happens physically other than it saves it and then you would close it um, but also in this area we can go into the report preferences and set up some preferences on how we like to have our reports printing and I'll go over those all of these actual settings when we're talking about reports um, but it's basically uh, predetermining how you like what you like to print on your reports what portions of the reports uh, what your default setting should be when you come to the report page just to save time in the reporting process. So that covers pretty much everything here um, in this section of users, user setup, and look forward to seeing you on the next video tutorial.